hello guys welcome back again to this channel about jobs today friends i am going to sharing about some south african requirements uh, i hope uh, you like this videos and you need your this information will need for you so friends let's start i would like to tell you the some uh, of positions and uh, what is the requirements to applying for these jobs and what the employers need from you to get these jobs so everything details i will tell you and uh, I already provided the all information with the official websites and uh, the official email IDs where we can apply and directly and you can contact directly to the employer from South Africa and you can get these jobs without any agent and consultancy. So friends, let's start. You can see here human resource manager in Johannesburg, South Africa. I hope uh, you already know that uh, Johannesburg is the place of in South Africa. So the job location is Johannesburg in South Africa. So I would like to tell you the role. What is the roles and responsibilities for these jobs as a human resource manager? So you can see here the human resource manager reports directly to the secretary general of operates as a true HR business partner to the senior leadership team and cluster leads, enabling the achievements of CIBIC. US strategic organizational objectives. The role is also responsible for providing a professional customer focused on effective human resource service, including, including board on, on not limited to requirement and selection, employee relations issues, performance management, remuneration and benefits management, policy development and compliance and learning and development. The human resources manager who will coordinate and lead CIBI CUS human resource and development team with the overall aim of promoting a productive, engaged and happy workplace. So this is all about the job responsibilities or the job roles in this position as a human resource manager. So let's come forward to another point, key requirements. What is the basic requirements for applying these jobs? They mention by pointing one by one. So I'm li I would like to highlighting the job requirements for these jobs. Number one, honors degree in human resource management organizational development and or organizational industry psychology so you should have a degree in human resource management this is the first and vital for you to applying these jobs number two substantial experience of developing attainable and effective hr od strategies and the supporting work plans this this the special experience need to apply these jobs number three experience of working in a similar capacity for an international ngo organization and or experience of working for a global organization that means you should have a ngo or social work organization experience you should have then number four Demonstrable experience of leading, providing sound advice and recruitment and selections, employee relations issues, performance management, remuneration, remuneration and benefits management, policy development and compliance and learning and development. So please keep in mind if you want to apply these jobs, you should have you should have the qualifications and experience by mentioning these four points. So still I would like to say if you are facing two problems understand these videos, please go to the descriptions under the video. I already provided all the informations in my descriptions. You can read it carefully there and you can know everything about these jobs. So next come to another point, how to apply. This is very important. How to apply. This is applying process. To the closing deadline for application is close of business on the 7th January 2019. That means today from today from today up to 7th January, no times. There is limited times. So don't want to be late. If you are professional matching this relation, these jobs and you have the qualifications, you have the experience, don't be late applying quickly as soon as possible then interested candidates should em email their application to this please make th this uh, note this uh, email id and um, uh, send your documents like resume cover letter to this email id before 7 january you can see here so still i would like to say you don't be confused the all min all information is available in descriptions go to descriptions you will get everything then you, it will be easy to apply for you so next come to another point your application should compromise comprise of uh, a pool of cv including educational and professional qualifications a pool of employment history showing the more significant positions responsibilities held and relevant achievements that means in your cv you have to mention 
the including educational and professional qualifications a pool of employment history that means where before you getting job where before you did the job and what is the current job like this and showing the more significant positions responsibilities are held and relevant achievements but what what was your achievements the what the positions you already did like this you have to mention in cv then number two a covering note of note more than not more than one page outlining a motivation for applying for the role don't be confused this point they need a cover letter if you don't have any idea how to make a cover letter please go to the google and find how to make a cover letter to applying for a job in south africa then it will the it will show on some formats according to those formats you have to make a cover letter for you then both cv and cover letter you have to send an email to this email id jobs at the cibicus.org this is our email official email it's not a public email it's an official email from south africa so don't be confused i already sharing the genuine information in my all videos so don't be confused and don't be uh, worry shortlisted candidates will be contacted mid january 2019 to schedule for interview uh, it's all the same process as you know before i already told you uh, first you have to send your cv and cover letter after satellite your cv and cover letters they will book a appointment date to for interview this is the process this is a genuine process every country every jobs you apply first you have to send your cv uh, in this email id or you have to drop a cv in these websites then they will satellite for you and they will fix a date for interview then you can proceed for out so this is the same process first you have to you have to send a, your cv and cover letter to this email id then they will satellite if your cv will be satellite then they will call you for interview and they will mention you the interview date by email due to high volumes of applications received should you not have received feedback on your application within the weeks of the closing date please consider your application unsuccessful that means they they mentioning that if within one week you did not get any response uh, response or i did not get any reply that means your cv not selected so my suggest please make your cv and cover letter very professionally very effectively which can affect the employer and which which will be affect by the employer and which will be easy to select your cv so we reserve the right to withdraw any of our vacancies anytime so friends it's very simple don't be confused uh first you have to send your uh, cv and cover letter after satellite your cv they will select you for interview if within one week you cannot get any reply you cannot get any response that means your cv it is rejected this is very simple and very clear cut so friends next come to another point i would like to tell you this websites this is very official websites very important if you have any doubt and you are thinking that this is public or any personal uh, sharing personal information then visit this websites you will get all information about these jobs don't be confused don't be worry and sometime i i have seen some uh, viewers are uh, confused and the comments like how to apply where the where to apply where what is the uh, service charges don't ask like this because the genuine process is in every country first you have to send your cv and cover letter with documents then after selection or after satellite your cv you will be fixed a date with for the interview then only you can proceed for the forward and after you getting a success from interview then they will guide you how to pay in embassy how to pay the total uh, service charges everything they will guide you this is not an agent and consultancy process so i cannot tell you what is the service charges how, how to apply no this is very official and very open in front of you all information available you can see here official email id official websites everything is available so don't be confused everything documents everything proofs in front of you don't need to ask anything so this is a south african requirement the role is human resource manager and they already mentioned how to apply and they already mentioned a websites where you can get information and still you have any problem go to the descriptions this all information i already provided go to the descriptions and read it carefully and you will know that what is the basic steps to apply for these jobs and it will be easy for you to apply for these jobs so um, again i am telling you uh, before you making your cv and cover letter focus on cv and cover letter you should make it professional and which can be 
effect to the employer then only your CV will be satellite for interview sometimes candidates telling no we just send email there is no response no yeah, I am telling you this is very true fact sometimes some people getting job after applying 50 times 60 times you can ask anybody already job in South Africa in Europe in American in uh, any country Canadian any country sometimes candidates have to applying again and again there is no wrong there is nothing to worry okay so if you are not getting any response don't be worry i am telling you again and again don't be worry you have to apply you have to try again and again uh, i have a friend in uh, also here in europe uh, when he came german uh, he always every day he always changing his cv and attending the interview in german after 52 times attending the interview and every day he changed his CV according to the employer, according to the company and after trying 52 times he get the jobs. It's very very interesting. So don't be worry, don't be uh, uh, nervous, anything. So apply again and again. In front of you official email ID, official websites you can see here. I'm not suggesting you go to any consultancy, go to any agent, give him money and asking again and again where where is my jobs, where is my visa, where is my tickets, where when I can go to the country for a job. This is a very wasting of time and very very bullshit and wasting of money also. So in my all video you can see I am always suggesting if you want a job in abroad, if you are looking for a job and you want to settle in abroad, that means don't follow any agent and consultancy. Nowadays, every company, every country have official websites. You have to try again and again in that websites and in that email ID. Contact them direct to direct by mail by contacts. Then only you can get a job genuinely without wasting of money and without wasting of time. So my suggest go through the genuine process. Genuine process is take time taking, but it's genuine and it will be good for you don't need to be follow any agent and consultancy i'm always telling again and again so this process is very simple the position i already told you the role i already told you key what is the requirements to apply for this already i already shared with you and also the applying process i already told you that you have to send a mail your cv and cover letter and this is also websites you can find any type of information i am telling you again and again because i am getting so many comments in the inbox that how to apply what is the service charges so many questions no this is genuine process don't need to ask the all information in front of you wow no need to anything of ask so this all this all information will be benefit for you will be helpful for your careers i hope that so uh, again i would like to say you uh, go to the descriptions and uh, read it carefully all informations and I hope this all information will be needful for you if you are a um, degree and bachelor in human resource management and you have the experience then don't be late 7 January is the last date so applying and uh, email send your CV and cover letter to this email ID and you can visit the um, this websites to get the um, more information about these jobs so after you sending mail please direct to contact them by email and you can ask for them contact numbers and email and just wait for some days to in getting any response after that you can contact them directly so i hope this video will be helpful for you this information will be very very needful for you i hope so so friends finally i would like to tell you lots of thanks for your valuable time to watching of this video up to end and in the next future I will share you some good information, some latest job in another country. And please keep watching my channel. And God bless you. Bye bye.